Hello, Christy here, and today is the 14th day of the 14 day challenge. And today we're going to talk about whose lives matter. Um, there's a Chinese saying that goes, if you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. So for centuries, the greatest thinkers have suggested the same thing. Happiness is found in helping others. I was at a vendor event and this was an event that we had heard things about the promoter before that uh, the promoters had issues with being positive. I'll just put it like that. And uh, we have done this, uh, this show before, and we just kind of avoided those people because we didn't want to encounter any negativity or cause any trouble. Well, we get there that morning, and another vendor comes in and says, well, last night she said this, and you're going to be banned, and blah, 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 and all these things that it was going to be uh, not a good thing for us. And so I just decided that... I was going to be positive and ev I couldn't remember what the person looked like because we'd avoided any contact in the past. And so while I was waiting at the door, every person that went by, I treated like they were my best friend and I was so happy to see them. And I, they, somebody would walk by and I'd say, hello, good morning. Are you ready for a great show? And that made me think about, well, what if we treated everybody that way all the time. What if we always made everyone think that we were happy to see them, no matter who it was? What if a person who cuts you off on the road just found out that their husband was in an accident and only had 30 minutes to live? What if the checker learned that his wife is cheating on him? What if the teacher is abused when she goes home? What if the bank teller just found out that her son has cancer? What if your random smile, act of kindness, compliment could keep someone from committing suicide? What if your kindness could show them that there is hope and there is still love in the world? A research has shown that every one suicide death, over 115 people are directly or secondarily affected immediately. A ripple effect. So thoughts and actions are like stones dropped in a pond and they create ripples that travel outward. Everything we do and think affects the people in our lives and their reactions in turn affect others. So the choices you make have far-reaching consequences. Each of us carries the capacity to change the world in small ways for the better or for the worse. So I found seven specific ways to practice compassion for others. If you like those tips, send me a message. Helping others may just be the secret to living a life that is not only happier, but also healthier, wealthier, more productive, and meaningful. Even the smallest act of caring for another person is like a drop of water. It will make ripples throughout the entire pond. So be the person who creates positive ripple effects. If you would like those tips, send me a message. And even though this is the last day of the challenge, I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.